I'm always trying to find a suitable board to do sound tests for my channel. A board that is hot swappable has different plate material, so I can do all possible switch and plate combination typing tests for each review video. During that time of searching this particular board, I came across this group by ran by makerkeyboards.com for hot swappable PCB plates with different material and the o-ring for gasket mount. And I read somewhere on this court saying that we are actually able to purchase the KBD8X Mark II without the PCB for only 250 US dollars. So I went ahead and joined a group by and ordered the KBD8X Mark II without the PCB from KBD fans. <laughs> the kit came well packaged. As you can see, my cat was more excited than me when the box arrived. At the time of ordering, it was actually in stock, so this was the first item that arrived out of all the other parts. I also ordered the PC plate from KBD fans just to try out different combination. And of course, the extra screws, hex keys, and bump ons for the case are included as well. As I've mentioned before in the beginning of this video, this kit does not come with any PCB, but it still does include the brass plate and the brass weight. I went for the PC wind keyless option for this board because I really like the front teeth look. In fact, in China, they refer to wind keyless as Ta Men Ya, which means big front teeth. This board has eight screws in the back to open up the case. The plate is top mounted and the surface is bead blasted and clear coated. And since this will be a hot swappable board, I imagine this type of finish will be easily scuffed from the switch pulling for all the video that I will be making. The top case looks perfect. The edges are clean and well machined. The unit that I got here has no cracks or any imperfection unlike any other video that I saw. Looking at the bottom case, this huge brass weight is bead blasted and clear coated as well. Because of the size of this brass weight, the weight itself is heavier than the rest of the case. The bottom case that holds the brass weight is perfect as well. I tried very hard to find for scratches and marks and I just failed to find any. Without the PCB switches and keycaps, it weighs about 1.87 kilograms pre-built. Looking at the PCB that I got from the group buy, this board is powered by Atmos 90 USB 6468 bit microcontroller. And of course, this board has USB-C port. Just like most of the hot swappable PCB out there, it uses kale hot swap sockets. In case you want to go PCB mount for this board, it also maintains the flex cut, just like the original PCB designed by AI03. However, this PCB doesn't have any RGB or per switch LED, not even LED on caps lock. From the earlier prototype, it actually has through-hole LED, but they removed it to support stepped and standard caps lock. This is the part where I'm most excited about. Other than the brass plate that came with the kit, I also purchased a few other plate from the group buy. I've got the E-Black Palm Plate, E-Black Aluminum Plate, FR4 with Gold Edge Plating, PC Plate like I've shown in the beginning of this video. A sound test of all this different plate will be shown in the later part of this video as well. Let's talk about some of the parts that I'll be using for this build. For stabilizers, I am going with JWK screw in PCB mounted V2 stabilizers. For switches, I will be mounting the C3 tangerines first. These are lubed with 205 grade zero, filmed with TX thin film, and these are one of my favorite linears. 
Now I really like the refreshing colors of this switch and I think it will look great combined with the PC case of this keyboard. For keycaps, I will be going with one of my favorite sets as well. MT3 Serica, designed by Zambumon. These are made from long-lasting, shine-resistant PBT plastic. The legends on MT3 Serica uses Zambumon's custom typeface and are dye sublimated, so they won't fade after long usage. And I'll be showing you guys a short time lapse of my build process. You guys can skip to the next chapter, which is the sound test, if you guys wish to.
Personally, I am very satisfied with the build quality of this board given its pricing. I find absolute zero imperfection, scratches, scuff, or visible marks. But I'm a little worried about the screw hole thread for this board because it's made from PC. Overall, building this board was an enjoyable experience. The whole process was simple and straightforward. I have always wanted a PC board because I think it would go well with any keycap sets. And I really like the outcome of MT3 Serica and the PC combination. I hope you guys like the look of this board as well. Because you guys are definitely going to see more of this board in my future sound tests and videos. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Oh, and come hang out in my Discord server. Link in description.